This video will show you how to set up port forwarding on a TP-Link router. First, what is port forwarding? The router's NAT feature makes your devices on the LAN use the same public IP address to communicate with devices on the internet, which protects the local network by hiding IP addresses of the devices. However, it also brings about the problem that an external host cannot initiate communication with a specific device on the local network. When the external host sends a request to your router, the router doesn't know where to forward it. To tell the router where to forward the request, you'll need to set up port forwarding. So how to set up port forwarding on your router? Here we take an HTTP server as an example. Before you start, make sure the server has been set up successfully. You can try using an IP address with a port number to access the server locally. Next, set up port forwarding on your router. Connect the computer to your router via Wi-Fi or an Ethernet cable. Open a web browser and type in tplinkwifi.net. Enter the administrator password on the login page. If you are logging in for the first time, you'll need to create a password. Go to the Advanced page and find the WAN IP which is needed for external access. Then go to NAT Forwarding. And finally, Port Forwarding. Click Add. Here we select HTTP as the service type. Enter the IP address of your server. Enter the external port number for external access. The internal port should be the same as the port number of your server. It's recommended to keep the external port and internal port consistent. Click Save to save the settings. Now you've set up port forwarding successfully. You can use the WAN IP and a port number to access the server externally. Finally, share the WAN IP and port number with your friends. They will be able to access your HTTP server in their homes freely. Thank you.